Welcome to the beautiful island of Mayorca, known for its stunning beaches, coastal mountain ranges, to fairy tale like villages. Mayorca is an absolute dream, and this video will definitely convince you to add it to your Spain itinerary. Now, if you have been following my Spain series, we visited Barcelona and the world famous party island Ibiza. And honestly, after a few days of non stop partying, even a dancing feat needed a break. So we decided to keep it chill and do a bit of island hopping before we jet off to our next destination, Amsterdam. And Mallorca seemed like a perfect spot as it's the largest of the Balearic Islands and undoubtedly one of the most beautiful destinations in Spain. So Mallorca is a huge island and you definitely need a car to get around. We had a car from this rental company right from the airport for three days. So after partying a lot in a pizza, this is our first day in Mallorca. So we're just keeping it chill today, leisurely walking in this cute little village that looks like something straight out of a fairy tale called Dia, where you can see all these orange houses, bright colored windows. It is one of the prettiest villages on the island, has a laid back vibe and is so adorable. And it's pretty small so I highly recommend to stroll around admiring the restored old stone houses with green shutters which is a characteristic feature of the Mallorcan architecture. Just get lost in the narrow alleyways, it was definitely a picture perfect hilltop village. It's so quiet here, there are hardly any people and I think that's the beauty of this place. Beautiful. So after exploring Dia, we went to this really hyped restaurant at a five-star luxury hotel La Residencia. Uh, restaurant Miro? Uh, yes. 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 Yes, please. I mean, wow. The property was so stunning. It was straight out of a storybook. And they apparently have an exclusive restaurant, El Olivo, which is booked four or five months in advance or even more. And if you can't get there just like us, you still might be able to get a table at Cafe Miro, which was equally gorgeous. We grabbed a quick lunch at the courtyard. We'll see the best olive oil in Mallorca. It's very fruity and aromatic. And oh my God, the food was to die for. It's a bit on the fancy side, but trust me, it was so worth it. And later in the evening, we went for some drinks at Puro Beach Club. We had huge expectations from this place, but kind of disappointed a little. The cocktails were also blah, but the views were nice. It's a good place for sunset for sure. Tomorrow morning, I'm sure we'll have the energy, but today it's they're all gone. Look at them, just look at them, all dead from a pizza. Very dead. Very dead. Probably because you're coming straight from a pizza to here. One extreme. But look at the view guys. The sunset happens here. Oh, so perfect. nice. Perfect. Perfect view. So on our day two, after some good rest, we did a full day of beaches and I highly recommend getting started early in the morning because the beaches get very busy later in the day. Also, it's a bit of a drive to get there anyway. So Mallorca is all about beaches and water and the first stop that we came to is Calapi. This is the closest to the town Palma. And to get down to the beach, you will need to walk down some pretty steep stairs because the entire island is almost rocky cliffs. You need to walk down into the Kalas and this one is no different. To be very honest, it did not look like what you see on Instagram like in the pictures. And also it was really crowded which I personally don't prefer. I like something that's hidden and that's where you get the best waters too. For us it was just a touch and go. The beach is not that great to be honest. Yeah. It's not worth going down. But if you still plan to visit here, let me give you a tip. When you're going down the steps, you will see it split into two different ways. To the right are the actual stairs that will take you to the beach. And to the left, you will see a path that gets you really nice views from above. And this is where the famous photo spot is. And I guess that's what the hype was all about. And the next spot is the famous Calibus Moro. Let's see if this one is worth the hype. Okay, okay, okay. This is the most popular beach in Mallorca and trust me, you'll be stunned. But while we were heading there, we found another one on the way, which is just a few minutes walk from Cala de Smoro, Cala Almonia Beach. Well, there isn't any beach here. This tiny cove is sheltered by rocks, but the place itself is beautiful. It's surrounded by fishermen houses with calm crystal clear turquoise water with limestone walls. It was really picturesque. proper shoes to come here. Also, it's a fun spot for diving so you can enjoy the thrill of an exhilarating jump from the cliff straight into the crystal clear waters of Mallorca. Sarant did it and he had a lot of fun. Jumping from this cliff right here. 
let's go. Or you can just sit on the rocks, just gazing at the stunning scenery. We had a lovely day here. And be ready to do a lot of walking to get there. You will need to park on the road and then walk down a lot of steps, but it's so worth it when you do. And these beaches are all unorganized, so take your snacks with you. Now we're on to the next part. Is a very very popular beach. This little slice of paradise is considered one of the most beautiful beaches in Mallorca. It's a slippery climb down but it's definitely worth the effort. Wow, this place looks beautiful. Fun way to go down the the color of the water in this narrow bay is the most unbelievable shade of blue. I was completely awestruck when I saw it. The bright turquoise water, soft white sand and the high cliffs that surround it. Color des Moro is a stunning cove. from this train. totally awestruck. It's a postcard perfect beach, one of the most picturesque coves in Mallorca and you should definitely add this to your Mallorcan itinerary. <laughs> Sleeping in Mallorca. Good morning. <laughs> Guys, we're a little tired now because of covering three beaches. Cool. Also, it's very important to rent a car because all the places are so far away. Like you have to drive down one to two hours to see some really nice beaches and some nice spots and towns. So after soaking up the sun and enjoying the beaches, we went to this nearby town called Sassalines and found this hidden gem for lunch, Cassia Grand Cafe. The aesthetics of the place, the interiors, it was so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. Big <laughs> lot of food, lot of food. And they had great food. We had some yummy fish, enjoyed Aperol spritz. It was just too good. And across the street from Cassia, there are some nice stores with artisanal products from Mallorca. And there were a lot of restaurants in that area. So I would highly recommend stopping by this cute town after the beaches. Such a nice feeling to just have a stroll with Aperol spritz in hand. Later in the evening, we enjoyed a beautiful sunset from our hotel and then went to a vibrant port with great views of the marina, Puerto Portals. Our first stop was the Ritzi bar where we enjoyed some drinks and then we got to know about a rooftop lounge that hosts silent disco parties and we couldn't resist. <laughs> It was so much fun, people were dancing and grooving to their own beats. But we decided to call it an early night as the next day was super packed and full of exciting adventures. And it's a day three and sadly our last day in Mallorca. And today the plan is to enjoy this beautiful water in the background. And we actually got a room with a sea view. The views are amazing. So today we are just going to enjoy a few beaches like yesterday, out of which there's one town that I'm really, really excited about. And then we will have to say goodbyes to this place. So on day three, it was time to hop in the car, put on a seat belt, and get ready to experience one of the most scenic drives. So now we are going on a road trip of the lifetime. This is the Sagalabra Road, which has amazing views of the hills. Yes, Sa Culabra is one of the most scenic drives in the world. The MA2141 road is 13 kilometers, not that long, but it has countless turns and tight passages. It's a slow drive from the mountains to the sea, so you can easily spend one hour one way here. And can you imagine? This road was manually built in 1932 and is a masterpiece of twists and turns. That's why it's also called a snake road in Spanish. It runs from the scenic MA10 road that starts near the Gorge Blue, where you'll see stunning views of the surrounding mountains and the crystal clear waters of the Mediterranean Sea. And there are a couple of viewpoints along the way which I highly recommend to stop. So for example, 
We just saw this gorge blue and this has amazing views. I'll just show it to you. descend down here you'll find one of the most incredible viewpoints of Mallorca it just keeps getting better and at one point the road cuts through the cliff and there's only one lane to pass and you will see this narrow tunnel which is so cool look at the hills joining like this also it's not too far from Palma the main city so if you're visiting the island you should definitely visit the Sao Colabra road and at the end of the road it ends you with a reward the road ends in Sao Colabra beach one of the most amazing and secret coves of Mallorca from the car park it's a short road downhill to the small port and the restaurants so you can always grab something to drink or ice cream they also have beer coffee smoothies so if you want to take a good break before going to the beach this is a perfect spot so that's the surprise when you finish the Sao Colabra, the snake road. And let's see how the water and the views are from this place. It's a beautiful walk. Look at the views from here. Look at that cute tunnel that we have to cross. Yes, the beach is only accessible through a tunnel caved in the rocks. And gosh, look at this beautiful window in the middle with stunning views. So cool. And now comes the big reveal. At the end of the tunnel, you'll discover the bottom of the valley. Oh, it was one of the most scenic beaches in Mallorca. It's actually called Torrent de Paris. It's really squeezed between towering cliffs, which is what makes it famous. We also got some beers. Cheers. Cheers. The ground is a mix of small pebbles and sand, but the water was crystal clear and you can't miss swimming in this one. Cheers. It was so stunning, we couldn't believe our eyes. It was the best unspoiled cove on the island, a true paradise. The water is crystal clear blue. Uh, as I'm just standing in a swimming pool. Guys, this spot is unreal. I have no words to describe this place. But Sao Colabra is a dead end, so you will have to plan another 30 minutes to drive back to MA10 Road and continue your journey. And one town I'd highly recommend you can end your day at is the charming town of Soyer, which is famous for their oranges. And the highlight of this cute town is the tram that goes inside these narrow streets. And now we are at the main square. So here yeah, is a vibrant town located in a beautiful valley with no shortage of cafes, restaurants, bars and shops. The main square of plaza next to the church is the town's beating heart. So take your time to stroll through the town, sip some fresh soyer orange juice in the main square. It's really good. And enjoy the views of the wonderful church. And that tram is a really cute one. I'm telling you, I saw the pictures and I was like, <laughs> I can't wait to see it in real. Uh, this vintage tram was so cute. I felt like I was in some fairy tale land. So definitely hop on one and enjoy the views of Soyer. It is a real treat. I guess it runs after every half an hour from 8 to 5 so make sure to check the timings. Next we decided to have dinner at Port de Soyer and you can actually take this vintage electric tram which takes around 15 minutes but we missed the last train and had to go by car. Let's start with the chicken shawarma. Oh. So we are ending our trip in Mallorca by having dinner at this place called Nenny's at Port de Soyer. So I just got to know that it's not pronounced Soler, but Soyer. Just like how you pronounce Mallorca, not Mallorca. And this is a really nice restaurant. I'm really excited to have dinner here. Let's try the food. That's it. Oh. And I guess all the properties and restaurants at the Port de Soyer, they are so huge and nice, which is surprising in this small town. But this is one place that you have to come for dinner in Mallorca. 
they have good food and amazing views as well. So that's it from Mallorca, from crystal clear turquoise waters to charming villages that look like they belong in a Disney movie. This island has it all. But sadly, our trip was a short one. I really wish we had some more time to explore this beautiful island as there's simply too many exciting spots to visit. If you're visiting Mallorca and want to see the many faces of this island, come for at least four to five days or even a week to really soak it all in. The island is bigger than you might think and you don't want to rush it. But hey, no worries because our next destination was a long-term bucket list item, a place where there are more bicycles than residents, nestled in the heart of Netherlands, Amsterdam. It's like a lively canvas painted with picturesque canals with diverse food scene and I can't wait to show you this magical city. So subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!